The UK Hydrographic Office was established 225 years ago when the Navy was losing more ships to navigational accident than it was to enemy action. And throughout the last 225 years, we've provided paper charts to mariners to give them uh, situational awareness. But over the course of the last 20 years, mariners have started to learn that they need to know where they are, not where they were, which is what a paper chart tells you. And so none of us have paper charts in our, in our cars anymore. None of us have AA road atlas. Um, and so what we're reflecting is what our users need, and our users need that precision navigation provided by uh, digital products. Uh, what you're looking at here, if you've got these three beacons here and three here, and they're what the Queen Elizabeth's going to use to come out of the, uh, the harbour now to get her through the narrowest point. So we put out new information all the time so mariners can, can put marks on their chart for things that have changed so the chart remains safe and compliant. But that's quite time consuming. It's time consuming for us and it's time consuming for the mariner. It's much better for us to be able to do a digital update where the mariner can download the information and it automatically is created on the chart that they already have on their bridge. It means the mariner is much more able to have the most up to date and, and with much less time between the point at which something happens and the point at which they're able to know about it on the bridge of a ship. And we want to move that from sort of weeks and days to hours and minutes. We live in a coastline surrounded by wrecks from going back to you know, the Spanish Armada and the likes. It is important that you have an up-to-date navigation information. Ships transiting the Dover Straits, for example, around the UK are going through there with minimal underclear clearance. Interestingly, people recently when we had the storms got fascinated watching aircraft at Heathrow landing sideways. But actually ships do that on a daily basis, navigating in and out of port and, and, and going alongside and actually manoeuvring a ship in close proximity to land with strong tidal streams, wind and all the rest. You know, there are real dangers and up-to-date navigation information, tidal information, all those other sources are, are fundamental. A lot of people think, oh, the hydrographic office it produces charts and of course that's what we're talking about today is that cessation of paper. Um, but actually, in defence terms, we provide far more than charts. Um, the focus for that military data collection is very much on the, the products above and beyond those safe-to-navigate surface charts, but more on the military products we produce to support dive navigation, mine warfare, littoral strike manoeuvre, etc., where we, we need to have a, a greater granularity of information or greater quality of information that might be available from the surface chart. If we want a ship that's currently working in the North Atlantic to suddenly go and start collecting data in the Indo-Pacific, it's going to take some certain time to get there. But if you can put something in the back of an aircraft and then put it onto another ship of opportunity, it, you can get there far quicker. So, and, and the Royal Navy has ships permanently deployed around the world these days, so we have our batch two offshore patrol vessels in the Far East. And so the ability to deploy equipment to ships that are already in theatre, rather than de deploy a specific ship to that theatre, has a degree of agility which is very compelling. Um, it doesn't mean we don't need ships, but we can just use them differently. Having that digital data forward deployed, which can be analysed in the same way that you would on your phone with uh, you know, the digital mapping services that are readily available and we all use every day, um, is I think fundamental to being able to exploit that operating environment. And then when it comes to safety and navigation, you know, exactly the same, we're looking at those near and real-time updates out to ships. And, you know, we're already doing that in the commercial market space more and more um, and we are you know, very keen to support the Navy on its journey to greater digitalisation as well. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.